फिजिक्स आर्थी मधुमिता मुखर्जी आई प्रॉमिस ए बेटर स्कोरिंग इन योर फिजिक्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टेक अनदर नीट क्वेश्चन अगेन फ्रॉम 2017 आई लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन विल गिव यू अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रिवीजन दिस इज ऑन डायमेंशन सो ए फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ऑफ डायमेंशन ऑफ लेंथ एल दैट कैन बी फॉर्मड आउट ऑफ C, G and e square upon four pi epsilon naught. Where C is velocity of light, G is universal constant of gravitation, and E is charge. To solve this question, you need to know the dimension of this, 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 and you need to apply the knowledge of Newton's gravitational law and Coulomb's electrostatic law. Let us try. C. What is the dimension of C? C is velocity. Velocity of light. Velocity. So L upper L T minus one. This is the dimension of C. Then what is the dimension of G? We will use Newton's law of gravitation. F. Equal to g m one m two upon r square. You know this. So g equal to f r square divided by m one m two. G equal to f r square by m one m two. Now you need to know the dimension of g. What is the dimension of force? I need to write somewhere force. Dimension of force. Force is a into a, mass into acceleration. That is also from Newton's second law of motion. Mass into acceleration. Mass for acceleration, the dimension is t minus two. M L T minus two is the dimension of force. Clear? Yeah. So I will have M L T minus two for F. For r square, I have l square. For m one, m two, I have m. Clear? So what I will have? M square m, m square m, m minus one, l cube, t minus two as dimension of g. Last part, dimension of this. I will use Coulomb's law of electrostatic. What is that? Again, they talk about force. This is also force. That is also force. Force between two charges Q1 and Q2 when they are separated by a distance r is what? This this force is force between two masses m1 and m2 separated by a distance r. Clear? That is the force between. This is the force between two masses. Now I have two charges Q1 and Q2 separated by distance r. I will have some constant that is one upon four up pi epsilon naught, and then Q1 Q2 divided by r square. Q1 and Q2 are my two charges over here. They have given E. E is your charge. So I can replace this as as one upon four. Pi epsilon naught e square upon r square. Clear? You need to find out the dimension of e square upon four pi epsilon naught. E square upon four pi epsilon naught. So dimension of e square upon four pi epsilon naught that will be f r square. Dimension of f r square. What is the dimension of f? This. Okay. So m m l t minus two. And for r square, I will have l two. So ultimately, I will have m l cube t minus two. Clear? Clear? This is my one. This is my two. This is my three. Or one two three. These three dimensions I needed to find out. I found out. I found out. So now my challenge is 
by doing some multiplication and division, I need to figure out the dimension of length, that is L. I need to find out L. Now just see the options. 1 case, 2 case, 3 case. G into this thing. G into this thing. Here I have M minus 1. Here I have only M. So if we multiply these two, my M will go. I do not require M because I need only L. I need my requirement it is to find the dimension of L. So L I require. If I multiply multiply g and e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught. I have seen my m will go. So let us do that. So m minus 1 l 3 t minus 2 into m l cube t minus 2. If I do this, m will go. I am having l 6 T minus 4. Great. G, G. This is definitely not my option. This is again G. If I square root it, then I will be closer to L. So, so, so. So, I will, what I will do? What I will do? I am trying to make this. Okay? This is not A equal to. This this is my starting point. I am trying to get L. So, if now, this is my left hand side, this is my right hand side. See, now G, G, E square by 4 pi epsilon naught, this thing, this thing. If I square root it, I will get L 3 T minus 2. Clear? Clear? Now what I will do? This thing is L into L square T minus 2. I have a, one L separated out. And L, L2 T minus 2. L2 T minus 2. That, that will come with C square. If I divide this thing. So if I make it 1 upon C square. 1 upon C square. G e square upon 4 up pi epsilon naught. I will get L uh, L, L square T minus 2 divided by L square T minus 2 which gives me L only. Clear? So, this option, option A will be your correct option. Clear? What I did? Dimension of C, velocity. I found out. Using Newton's law of gravitation, I found out the dimension of G. Using Coulomb's law, I found out the dimension of this part. E square upon 4 pi epsilon. My requirement was to get dimension of length, only L. So, I do not require T or M. I see if I multiply these two first, my A will definitely go. I did not consider about T at this point of time. My A will go. So, I multiplied these two. My A went on, uh, gone and I have L cube T minus 4. If I square root this thing, square root, I get L cube T minus 2. L into this. Then I see if I divide this fellow with C square, I get my required L. This part I have done by checking my options. Otherwise, you have to do all checking of all the options to get your L. Clear? This is a very good question for revision because you will be able to revise your Newton's law of gravitation as well as Coulomb's law in electrostatic. Clear? Next. Thank you for watching. In this way I have explained last 20 years of questions. If benefited, do watch.